Hey girls, it's Katie. I am finally back. I missed I missed YouTube. I missed you all. Um, and this weekend, I'm really looking forward to getting caught up on everyone and uh, catching up on comments. So happy to be home. We had an amazing trip. Um, Alaska is just just as great as it ever was. We were in our old hometown. Um, we spent Thanksgiving with all of our old friends that we hadn't seen in a year, and it was just fantastic. Um, I hope everybody had great holidays and um, safe travels and everything. There's been lots of exciting stuff for other people, um, a lot of babies being born and people getting BFPs, and I'm just thrilled for all of you. Um, so we are in our new house. This was the only room that looked halfway decent. Um, we haven't had much time to unpack at all at this point. We just, uh, we moved in and we went to Alaska uh, two days later. And then we got home and have been working all week and trying to do what we could at night, but I've mostly been too tired. So it's a big project this weekend is to finally get everything put away and maybe get started on a couple of projects. Um, definitely we want to do some Christmas decorating, so it should be a good weekend. Um, one of the things that welcomed me back was that um, I got over 200 subscribers. Um, thank you guys so much. That totally made my day. Um, you know, when I finally was able to check YouTube again, that was totally awesome. Thank you guys so much for following me. I just... I started making videos basically for myself, and I didn't really think anyone would be interested. Um, but I'm so happy to be able to share this amazing time in our lives with all of you. So today, uh, no, yesterday, I was 11 weeks. So today I'm 11 weeks and one day, still pregnant, <laughs> um, hitting 10 weeks last week on Thanksgiving Day actually was awesome um, to think that we're a quarter of the way there. Um, hitting double digits was a really big milestone and we were able to tell, um, we have a lot of still close friends up there, so we were able to tell people, and that was just awesome. So symptoms the last couple of weeks, nothing too exciting. Um, fatigue still, although I feel that maybe starting to get a little bit better. Can't wait until I get the second trimester boost of energy. Um, nausea still sort of comes and goes, but that's definitely gotten better. And getting up at night to pee sucks. <laughs> I think my record is three times, <clears throat> three independent times of waking up and having to go back to bed. So that really doesn't help the fatigue thing, but um, that should also improve very soon. So the big, really big news from this week is that we met our midwife um, yesterday. I had made the initial appointment with a midwife, but they had sort of messed up, and when I showed up, um, I saw an OB, and he was fine, uh, but I have thought pretty seriously about becoming a midwife at some point, so um, that's definitely the route we want to go, and luckily, um, this woman is amazing. Right away, we both were really comfortable with her. Um, I feel like our... Mm, our perspectives are really in line and that she's going to really uh, support the kind of experience we want to have really well. So that was awesome. Um, she seems to take a sort of low-tech approach. Um, I went in thinking like, okay, well, you know, well, first of all, I wanted to make sure everything was still okay, um, which it was. She used her Doppler because my home Doppler, um, I have not been able to get anything since seven and a half weeks. So really I was um, pretty nervous about that. But with her Doppler, um, she found the heartbeat. She said it was in the 160s, really great, uh, really strong, and she was happy about it. Um, so to get that out of the way, everything is good. Um, such a relief. And it was really nice to hear on like good equipment too. Uh, but otherwise, she uh, doesn't do a lot of ultrasounds unless there seems to be a reason for them. So our next ultrasound would be uh, at the 18 to 20 week mark of the anatomy scan, which is about two months away, which seems like a lot, but um, I'm just going to go with it. I feel like I can 
I trust her judgment. And she said, this is the time in your pregnancy when you just need to relax. You just need to enjoy. Um, you know, in the next few weeks, you're going to be feeling better than ever. And you just need to trust that everything is moving forward and just enjoy it because you're going to, you know, towards the end, you're going to be uncomfortable and you're going to wish for these days back. So this is the time to just relax and trust and um, we'll get the ultrasound. I think it'll be in early February. Um, so yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, she did order thyroid tests again. Um, I've had my thyroid tested many times and the results are always normal, which is surprising. Um, but she just said, let's do it again. Who knows? Maybe the other hormones are um, throwing stuff off now because I am having this sensitivity to cold really bad. Um, and I actually gained three pounds since the, my first appointment, which was at five weeks. So in six weeks, I've gained three pounds. Um, seems like a lot. I was really shocked. I don't really feel like I've gained that much. But because I was underweight to start with um, before uh, we got pregnant, I think that this is good. So um, I, I really haven't been eating that much. But, oh, here's the thing. Um, my blood pressure is a little bit high. Um, it's always a little bit high when I go to appointments because I just sort of get like a white coat anxiety or something like that. I think they call it like white coat syndrome. Just when you know, when you're in a medical environment, um, sometimes people get anxiety. I don't really feel like I am afraid of doctors or anything, but when I know that they're going to take my blood pressure, I think that makes it spike. Um, <laughs> So I always try to calm myself down um, and, you know, try to, like, mind over matter, like, lower it, but it's always elevated um, at appointments. So I knew that was coming, but it was higher yesterday than it's ever been. So she recommended um, trying to cut back on salt, which is a good idea. Unfortunately, everything I want to eat is salty. Like, everything I've been wanting to eat consistently um, this whole pregnancy so far is all salty stuff. So that may be contributing, um, but I'm really gonna work on uh, in the next month before my next appointment, cutting back on salt and trying to do more yoga and stuff and bring that down. Um, so besides salty stuff, the only other things I've been craving are these little clementines. It seems to be pretty common for people to crave citrus fruits. Um, so it's nice that these are in season. I didn't take notes this time, so I'm probably forgetting a bunch of stuff I meant to say. Um, but I'm going to go make dinner, and I'm going to record a video maybe later tonight, but probably just later in the weekend, of my belly shot and um, my best thing about the past week and all that stuff. Um, what else? Oh, and I know you. I owe you guys information about the contest slash giveaway very soon. Uh, right now, everything is still in boxes, so I don't even know where my prizes are right now. Um, but that should be coming. I'm going to try to get it together this weekend and um, announce that whole thing sometime this coming week. Well, since I can't figure out what I'm forgetting, I'm just going to end this. Um, and I'm going to do uh, the little second, the fun part, <laughs> um, pretty soon. So keep an eye out. Um, thanks for your patience as I get caught up with everything and, um, have a great weekend.